Hello and welcome back to Mark's Garden UK. I want to give you an update on my olive tree extreme pruning experiment, which is where I tried to kill an olive tree by pruning all but one of its leaves off. Now you can find the original video on my channel and the thumbnail looks like this here on my left and I'll put a link to that original video at the end of this one. But to recap, what I did was I had two plants and these are the two plants and one of them I took every single leaf off except one leaf. That one I left alone as a control to see what the comparison was. And I wondered whether the one that I tried to kill would survive or not. Let me tell you what happened. I saw very little movement in the top here for about three months. But I did see lots of little sprouting growths coming up out of the trunk. And I brushed them off with my hand. And about a month after I brushed those off with my hand, it sprouted at the top. And you can see, look, it's doing ever so well, considering I took all the leaves off. Look, sometimes I think pruning a plant reinvigorates it. And this is certainly coming back good and strong. It's got lots of lovely, healthy new growth. And there is growth coming out of every single one of the branches. I can only imagine that this is just going to get better and better. This is the one that I use as a control. That's also doing well. You can see what happens with olives. They, they tend to get a little bit straggly and long, and that's why you prune them. Just while we're on the subject of uh, pruning olives, um, some people want fruit on their olives. I don't, I just have them for ornamental purposes. If you want fruit on your olives, it has to flower. So you have to leave it a year and not prune it. Then it will flower, then those flowers will eventually turn into olives, but it's got to have gone through a whole year and a cold spell. 10 days of very cold temperatures, they say, over winter. Leave them outside. They're quite hardy plants. You can protect the crown if you want to with some fleece, and I did do a video on that, but I found in the UK, these are perfectly healthy and hardy plants. The key thing with olives is drainage. Now here, I have sand under the ground, so any that I plant in the ground will have natural good drainage. But any that I put in pots, I always make sure they've got great drainage. I put crocs and gravel at the bottom before I put the compost in, and then I almost let them dry out between watering because it doesn't want wet, wet, wet feet. Think about where it comes from. Dry, arid, imparched, hot climates. So there we go. Did that olive tree survive? Yes, it did, as evidenced here. Not only did it survive, it thrived a lot, much hardier than we think these olives. And subsequent to those two, I bought this one. And this one was from Aldi. It cost me the grand sum of £2.50. It was almost going on the skip at Aldi and they sold it me for £2.50 and I've done exactly the same thing as I did with this one. It's got no leaves on it. Will it come back? I believe it will. However, we are going into winter now, so I don't know whether I'll get much growth or movement on that this year, but next spring I have every faith and every confidence that that plant will come back. I tell a lie. There's a new shoot appearing here. I'll get some close-up footage of that. It's starting to grow. I'm going to move it somewhere, sheltered just for this winter because I don't want it to suffer any extremes of temperature so I'll probably put that in my shed but there is a bud there it is alive it is going to come back like that so there we go an update on my attempted homicide extreme pruning experiment well, we've enjoyed that and I hope it gives you faith and confidence to be a little bit tougher with your olives if you want to prune them if you want to prune them for shape, don't worry about it, prune them. If you want to prune them for fruit, let them grow a couple of years. They will get stragglier, but the blossoms will turn into buds, which will turn into fruits, providing they've gone through a cold winter. See you soon for some more olive tree fun and games. Bye for now.